Hey there YouTube. Got another little tutorial for you today on synchronization again. You know, we do I do a lot of these uh pluralize and um syncing videos on syncing several cameras with audio. So what I have here is two cameras. I'll explain the reason why is because I ran into a problem and I went through and figured out how to get it as close much most of it in sync as I could and then the last bit I sync manually. So I'm going to show you how to both Synchronize through Pluralize with the newest version of uh, Premiere CC and Pluralize 3.5, I think, or 3.3, whatever the one is before they came out with a new one. What um, they did again was they removed the window extensions Pluralize thing through here. This Pluralize is actually an older version. It doesn't do the new version. So it does, what do you want to do? Continue. See, it's doing version 2.0, and I don't even have that. It doesn't work. Say, getting program path, because there's no version 2.0 on here. They stopped doing this. This does no longer work, so you just have to close it. They do not allow the newer versions in. So you basically are forced to upgrade to the newer version of Pluralize in order to make it sync right in the thing unless you do it this way so the alternative is this is an indian wedding and i had some like close-up cameras there and then some some at a distance that were down the farther away and uh there's a camera in the back anyway it was very pink they put all these pink lights up here anyway the point is is about about three quarters of this will actually sync but then the last bit won't so i'm going to show you exactly what it does and those two the audio was so long it actually stopped after an hour and a half and i had to do the last bit of audio separate and there it is it was a separate i had to restart the recorder so what you do is you while your timeline is selected i've got ceremony selected you go file export final cut pro xml and you call it ceremony uh, we'll call it ceremony one. No, let's see. What, 244, 229. Yeah, that's the newest one. Okay, ignore this thing. Go away. Yes. Okay, so you export it. You export the thing, and then you go to pluralize. So you launch pluralize, and then you go sent. You go file. New project from Premiere Pro, Ceremony 1. That's the newest one that I just did. You bring it in here. It creates these little waveform dealies. Prepares the media real quick. I'm going to show you what it does and the problem that you have in, in uh, Pluralize when it doesn't sync your stuff right. This is the problem I've come across every time that it had a problem. Okay, so you go to Sync, Uncheck Level Audio, Sync, Try really hard. I, I don't care if it levels the audio because I'm using this audio, this alternate audio, as a separate audio, audio source. So I don't need it to make the, all the other audio the same level. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to use these other cameras' audio anyway, just this one audio track. But I need this audio there to sync it. So that's what I do. Sync. Try really hard and uncheck level audio. And then you click synchronize. And I've tried everything on this. And if you look, I can tell right away it's already freaking out and throwing stuff way down the timeline. And where is it? So it's sync encountered an error. It actually put it way over here somehow and just divided the clips all up. Let's zoom this in and let you see. Look, at the end of the timeline, it's something it just does not like. Something it does not like. So it threw everything down here at the end of the timeline. So this is no good. So what we do is close this. No, I don't want to save it. Close this. Now let's go back through and delete. I actually had previous done, previously done this. What I did was I, I selected about half the clips, deleted them, sent it out again, tried to see if it would sync these, and it would. Then I added more clips in, you know, deleted less, see if it'll fit, and it would. You ca I kept going until I got it where it would only it only had like a few clips that it would that it couldn't sync. So. If I can get it to sync most of this timeline, then that's this much I, I don't have to worry about. All I have to worry about is this little bit at the end and manually sync it. So I could actually go edit, uh, undo. Let's say, let's, let's, let's get to this. 
Let's just take these last ones. Let's see if it does this last one real quick. So I'm going to get rid of that and leave just this. Leave everything else to this point. This is only a couple big files. Let's see if I can get this to sync, right? So let's see if Pluralize can sync this stuff. So then file, you got to save it. Save, file, export, Final Cut XML. I'm going to call it the same Ceremony 1 because I have it right there too, but it doesn't really matter. Yes. Okay. Now you go to pluralize. I could have just left. I'll just leave pluralize up next time. I'll, I won't close it. I'll just start a new. I'll just start a new one. So pluralize, file, new project from Premiere Pro. Pick ceremony one. Click open. Now it'll bring the exact same thing in, but it's got a couple more clips here. For some reason, camera one, it swaps the cameras. This is the one on the bottom. This is the one on the top. It's actually the op. It moves them opposite in, in here. So see, it's having to build these previews again for this last bit right here. Okay, so it's got the previews all the way to there. Now, this separate audio might be what's kicking it off or multiples of these clips or whatever. So let's see how far we go here. Sync. Uncheck level audio. Sync. Try really hard because the audio's in different ones at the back of the room, ones up front. Synchronize. Let's see if it goes crazy. Yep, it's going crazy. Yeah, it doesn't like that at all. So we're gonna edit, undo sync project, edit. Uh, you can't go backwards. I'll just leave this up and go new project from Premiere Pro. Okay, so edit, redo or undo and now let's get rid of these because that's where it seems to be having the problem we're going to file save sorry file export final cut pro xml this time i'm going to call it ceremony do the first one ceremony it already exists because i've already done it once okay now let's go back to pr uh, pluralize file New project from Premiere Pro, uh, Ceremony, open. It's basically the same thing, but less clips. So let's let's see if this if if it will sync it, then we'll be halfway there, at least most of the way there. Memory uses, which is high. For some reason, it's this version does high memory usage. This isn't even 4K clips. They were 4K. I changed them to HD. Okay, so sync, level audio, sync, try really hard, synchronize. Let's see if this actually synchronizes. Yes. See, I can tell right away it's not pushing these clips to the end of the timeline. So, boom, that actually synced. So now we got to go file, export, Final Cut Pro XML for Premiere, export. Uh, that's it. And now we just we can minimize this. You don't even have to import it. Go to Sequences, File, Import. And now we're going to go to where the project is. And it's called Ceremony Exported. 529, 527. I did it earlier. It didn't work. So this is the this is the one. 2:56 p.m. Yeah, open. Yeah, it gets that translation result sometimes come off wrong, but it's synced. Here it is. It's actually synced. So see? it's perfect. It's synced. So now that's how that's how you fix a synced one. And if you go to the next video here now, I'm going to show you how to manually sync clips that you couldn't have that you couldn't figure out before. So I'm going to show you how to manually sync now. So I'm going to finish this one now and then upload another one separate of how to of how to um, manually sync. Thanks and uh, like and subscribe if you like us. And here's actually in just a minute I'm going to do the next video.